And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Oh, a beautiful day throughout Greater Lafayette. Plenty of sunshine temperatures well above average yet again. However, notice the isolated rainfall moving in just off to the west of us. If any of those showers do indeed reach us, they'll likely be short-lived and see just a few isolated showers overnight tonight. Really shouldn't affect us early tomorrow morning. Notice the scattered rainfall, however, off to the west of us. That represents the leading edge of a cold front that's expected to roll into the region beginning tomorrow afternoon, bringing scattered rainfall and eventually some much cooler temperatures to the region, something that we're not necessarily seeing right now. It's still 72 in St. Louis, 68 Springfield, a little bit cooler off to our northeast, Fort Wayne 54, but I want you to turn your attention to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. It's 45 degrees there right now. So the difference between Sioux Falls and Des Moines uh, between 45 and 62 degrees. That's the division line behind the cold front and that frontal boundary will sweep across the region tomorrow afternoon into the evening hours. For right now, we're still seeing those mid to upper 50s and even low 60s in some spots. 60 degrees, Logansport 56 right now in Crawfordsville. We hit a high temperature today in Lafayette, just about 74 degrees, well above average for this time of the year. Right now, we're at 60, however. Winds are from the southeast, 7 miles per hour. The southeasterly winds still keeping temperatures pretty uh, mild for this time of the year. And we will see those temperatures only fall a degree or two more before the night is up with the added cloud cover rolling in ahead of that isolated rainfall as well. So we're tracking the inbound cold front. We're tracking the scattered rainfall along with it and a big change in your forecast as far as temperatures go as well. We're looking at a quite the difference over about a 24 hour period beginning tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, lasting through the next day. So what we're going to be dealing with, at least for the overnight hours, again, a couple isolated showers. You're not necessarily seeing them on our precision future cast here, but once we get past about 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, things should dry out. We should see a primarily dry start to the day. Just a Cloudy one at that. We'll see an added, added cloud cover throughout the day tomorrow. That won't necessarily affect our temperatures, but it will act as a preface to the chances of rainfall moving into the region. So 57, your overnight low temperature in Attica. We fall the 56 degrees in Winnemac tonight. 57, your overnight low temperature in West Lafayette. Your bus stop forecast tomorrow, mainly cloudy temperatures warming up from 57 to 60 degrees between 7 and 9 a.m. We again see the scattered cloud cover throughout the morning hours. Rain chances arrive as early as about 4 p.m. Going to 5 6 p.m. scattered showers and thunderstorms pushing off to these. Some of those storms may actually turn out to be a little bit stronger. There's marginal risk of severe weather for the northwestern portion of the viewing area tomorrow. I'm only expecting maybe some gusty winds, maybe a few claps of thunder. 74, your high temperature in West Lafayette tomorrow. We bottom out at 46 Wednesday night. Thursday, a high temperature of 60, plenty of sunshine. Thursday and Friday, just much cooler. We had a high temperature just 60. Thursday, Friday up to 64. We return to the low 70s by Saturday. Well, I know um, it's kind of heartbreaking for the Cubs fans the game's tonight. Game's not over. That's not over. I was going to say. <laughs> I've got two pieces of good information. Obviously, the bad is that the Cubs are losing, but there's right two now, good pieces. <laughs> the game is not over, no. and then of course, if it does end up not going the Cubs' favor, that's why you have that deciding game exactly. five back. In